Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this video, we discuss several options for baggy web tension profile measurement. The severity of bagginess can be assessed visually, though this is difficult and subjective. More desirably, we would like to measure the problem directly. Many attempts have been made to do this. These include the tension required to flatten the web, the difference in droop or sag in a long span, the arc, bow, or camber of the web when laid out on the floor, and finally, the strip test that we described in Module 5. Unfortunately, all are time-consuming to do, unreliable, expensive, or some combination. One breakthrough in baggy web troubleshooting was the invention of a very sensitive tension profile sensor by the folks at FP Innovations. The sensor beam is composed of dozens of one inch wide pivoting shoes on individual load cells. The sensor beam is part of an extraordinary lab rewinder that is easily the best instrumented in the world. This tension measurement sensor has been tested on a wide variety of paper and non-paper webs and has proven accurate, repeatable, and sensitive. It has been used scores of times to troubleshoot various web manufacturing and converting problems. It has been the foundation of several of the best published papers on the subject of baggy webs. There is a challenge that is unique to unique sensors. By this I mean, how do you test the goodness of this baggy web sensor when there are very few devices to test it against? One way to begin to establish trust is to see if the instrument is repeatable. In the top figure, the measurement was repeated on the same web twice. Note how the two repeats line up quite closely. This particular plot shows tight edges. However, we must be aware that many sensors, not just tension profile sensors, have end effects. One example is online scanners often show a smile or frown tendency that might not really exist. They are an artifact of imperfections in the sensing system itself. Note in the case of the bottom plot how a more uniform web does not show the smile shape, thus giving evidence that the measurement is good right up to the very edges. As I mentioned earlier, this sensor has been used to impressive effect to do baggy web troubleshooting that would have been nearly impossible without tension profile sensor. Here is a list of some of the publications that have resulted. In all fairness, and to be complete, there are other devices that have similar capabilities. One is the eye roll designed by Mezzo. However, there is a difference in application. The eye roll is very expensive tension profiling roller whose application is so far confined to a few large paper machines. On the other hand, the FP Innovation Tension Profiler is so far confined to a pilot lab outside of Montreal, so you would have to send your wound rolls there to have them measured. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my Plant Practical series. If you want more information about troubleshooting a bagginess, you must follow FP Innovations. If you want more information on wrinkling, bagginess, and many other web handling topics, stay tuned to this channel for more modules or, better yet, take my Web 101 Video On Demand courses in web handling and winding.